it's Sarah and I have a haul video today I guess it's just some things I got at AC Moore yesterday I, I had to get out of the house I've been sick it's past 10 days I always say 7 to 10 days but like this is just hanging on I've been in the house for so long and I just had to get out um, and I had a couple of Visa gift cards that I could use. So I went to AC Moore and they didn't really have a good coupon, but it was a 25% off all your regular priced items. So I did end up using that and it, it helped quite a bit. Um, I had a couple things on my, I wanted to get like these Sculpey tools. These are $10 usually. So, I mean, it's a bit without a coupon that bugs me. I, I like to get, you know, my 40% off, but I still got like about two or three dollars off with the 25% off. I ended up saving like $35 or something, but I did get these. These are um, the style and detail tools, and these are good for sculpting clay, I think, putting divots in them, a bunch of different stuff. We'll see. It says shape, smooth, detail, and finish. Um, but a lot of the teachers at Polymer Clay Adventure um, have these on their list, so I and I didn't have them, so I figured I'd get those. Um, these bezels were just on sale. I happened to see these and I like these because they were two, um, sided. So we'll see. I mean, I'm thinking maybe even keychains or something because it's two sided instead of a pendant. I don't know. Um, I can always use bezels. So I got those. I have these tiles out. Oh, I got a tile. Stopped at Home Depot and just got this tile for like a dollar. Um, all the a lot of the teachers use tile to work with on their work their clay um, and I have little like six by six ones that are smooth and this is like a little bit of a matte finish I don't know if you can tell but they use the matte finish too because it doesn't stick as easily to that um, so I was excited to get that um, and these are some um, tiles clay tiles that I had done last year and um, one of the teachers for Polymer Clay Adventure is named, her name is Christine Capano. And I'm looking forward to that class. It's probably not till a few months away. Um, but it's called a sun catcher tile. And I'm, uh, it, it kind of is in the vein of this because I saw these on Google, Pinterest, um, wherever. Um, and she uses these glass gems. And from what I can tell for the class, she's going to make it so that the gem goes all the way through the clay. So it's actually embedded in the clay so that you can see through it. And then it'll be a sun catcher. You see what I'm saying? Um, so I got these little votives and I was thinking I could play. See, I'm like impatient, but I'm really looking forward to that class. There's only been one class so far. Cindy Holt, her name is, and she did a bangle bracelet, which I don't have the um, the bangle form like thing. It's a piece of metal that you sculpt the clay around. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, but um, because they didn't have it at maybe they have it at Hobby Lobby. Maybe I'll take a ride next week and see. Um, but anyway, because it would be fun to make the bangles, I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap some clay around these votives and then embed the gems into the clay and so that you can see through the clay um through the gems into the glass anywho that's what i was thinking so these were on sale because they were 50 cents a piece but they were still 25 percent off that um i got these two mason jars i got like a purpley pink and a teal one and um, we were going to alter them last night maya and i but um we watched the Ninja Turtle movie instead. Um, <laughs> I got her this little uh, frozen t-shirt. But this is the new thing that I'm going to try. I got myself some Zentangle books. I have had these Micron pens in my stash forever, but I googled it to see what types they recommend. And, and it was these Micron pens. So I kind of filled in my collection of ones I didn't have. I didn't have some of the um, bolder ones. So I got the number one. I got two of those. I got a brush. Let's see. Where is it? 
Um, 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 um. Yeah, here, brush. B R. I got so anyway. I got a O one O three O five O eight. And sorry. Um. Anywho, I'm gonna be doing the entangle. So I got this little notebook too. A little. It's a, it's a little mini. Um. I t already took the uh, label off of it because I was playing. And I've been doing these little patterns, and I found these on YouTube. So I got the books because I just wanted to have a reference. Because I'm going to make some ATCs. Uh, my son wants to talk to me. <laughs> and But I'm pretty much done. So yeah, so um, I also took some notes. There's a couple of people who tell you how to start one. And you just start with these, it's called um, strings. You use strings and create your Zentangle. So I'm gonna try that. So I got these two books. This is Zentangle 1 and Zentangle 2. And I'm gonna make some ATC, so I'll show you those when I get them um, going. And that's really it for my haul, but look at this. Isn't this super cute? I cannot wait to get started with clay again. Look at that. Uh-uh-uh. Anywho, um, yeah, but like once I get the clay out, it's kind of one of those things. You'll have, your, I'll have my pasta machine. I'll have, uh, so I just wanted to kind of clear my desk and, you know, I don't know. Anyway, you guys, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.